What is so relevant about IBM's uh, Curator Vulnerability Manager announcement? And why should I care? I mean, in fact, today I, I use any one of these reputable uh, scanners and, and, and they produce all these nice uh, reports. In fact, they are so nice that I, that I have a hard time just trying to fix all the things that are in there. Uh, well, that's precisely the problem. Uh, but, but you say, well, well, if I cannot even fix what's in here, why do I get, why do I want to get yet another uh, vulnerability scanner? Well, Q, QVM is not just a vulnerability scanner that has nothing to envy at any of these reputable uh, scanners. It's PCI compliant. It's been on the market for, for quite some time. has an excellent reputation of the things it finds. But it does a couple of things uh, that will make your life a lot easier. For once, we, we can take all the data that you are collecting right now from these uh, vulnerability scanners, no doubt about it. But we do additional things. We do, for example, we take data from Guardium because Guardium goes and finds a great level of uh, detailed vulnerabilities on the database that these scanners will not get, and we feed that into QVM. We get information again from AppScan which AppScan does a more, I mean, all these vulnerability scanners, and ours as well, does a light, you know, web application testing, but it never up to the level of detail and the correlation up to the source code where the, where the vulnerability is that AppScan provides. And we feed that in QVM, you'll see why. We also bring information from uh, uh, Endpoint Manager, in, in our case, Big Fix. So we know what are the things that had been patched at the particular endpoint, and you know, and that that's going to allow us to uh, to make your life easier in the QBM display. We also take, of course, information from X Force and, and other sources of vulnerabilities that as the vulnerabilities are actually coming up. Uh, we we get information from the IPS and the things that the way that the IPS is configured and what are the things that it blocks, and. One of the things that we do is that we get from Risk Manager and topology information of the network. So we can see what are the paths between possible attacks and your vulnerable endpoints. And what do we do with all that very nice information? Well, for once, out of all that data that you get, one of the things that we do very nicely is that we say, well, all these vulnerabilities are inactive. What do we mean by that? Well, you know, Curator has Qflow. And with Qflow, we know what other things are going and active in your network. And we see that all these services and devices that are vulnerable are not active. So you should fix them at some point. But right now, don't you worry too much about them uh, because they are not really active. We also, because we get information for uh, from endpoint that I told you about uh, before, so we, we, we know which devices, for example, have been patched. So from, I'm going to put here big fix, but from any other endpoint that you have, we know what things are being patched. So why should I worry about a configure attack vulnerability when I have a specific patch applied to my server or my endpoint, and I know that that server is protected against that? So, so don't don't bother me with those uh, with those things. Well, that's a visibility that you don't get from the from the other scanners as well. We also this is very important from our IPS and the way that the IPS are configured and set up. We know what things the IPS is actually blocking. So we know that our IPS with the PAM module, for example, is blocking all these SQL injection type of attacks. So well, for that vulnerability, for that SQL injection type, I know I should fix it in the in the actual application, and AppScan is telling me the same thing. But for now, I'm not going to worry too much about it because my IPS is uh, protecting me from it. And from the topology of the network, I can actually see that there's no any other way for that attack to actually get there. So that's actually very useful. And that lets you to, with uh, two categories of things, for you to really worry about. One is it, it gives you all the things that are at risk. 
meaning from from the X4s and all the all the nice reports that we get. These are things that are ready for the attackers to 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 exploit. So do something about it before things happen. Those are the, the that that that's something that you should really worry about it. And yet something even more important because Curator has all that rich context and all that rich information and some other videos about that. Our network anomaly detection can tell you, well, my friend, these things are being exploited at this particular time. So you need to re-image those boxes. You need to change the rules of the of your uh, IPS. So you need to put another IPS here. You need to modify your firewall rules. I mean, all all the actions that you need to do because those things already are in your system. So, but allowing you to concentrate on these and these, you can reduce the the ton of data that you get on those overwhelming uh, traditional vulnerability reports that you can do something about it. I hope that this highlights why QVM is going to make your life easier in spite of having all these good uh, vulnerability scanners that are silos uh, on the system. All the things that, that, that we do that are particularly unique. Well, let's say that you have a new server, that you add a new server, and you patch every 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 month, or maybe I do it every quarter, or maybe I do it every week even. Well, but what happens if I launch a new server today and, and the people who launched the VM or a physical server did not uh, install it correctly and has vulnerabilities? Well, guess what? Curator Vulnerability Manager can detect that a new server is in town and it's going to go and scan that one. Not the whole network because that, that that's very troublesome. It generates too much traffic. No, I want to scan that new server that I, my asset database tells me that it no, has not been here before. And I can detect, you know, particular vulnerabilities and do something do something about it. Uh, we also have the, the early warning that they say that we get from X-Force, uh, uh, from some other sources that we get information, we get a new vulnerability discovered. Well, in the asset database, we know where that vulnerability might be applicable. And say, well, we get a new Java vulnerability, which is almost a weekly event these days. In fact, some people joke that Java stands for just another vulnerability announcement. So I get a new Java vulnerability. What, 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 what should, should I be patching? Well, in my asset database, I know where that is being used, where that's active. So I know uh, how, how to... Uh, how to proceed. Again, from the topology standpoint, I can see whether there is a direct path where, where my things are exposed. You know, that's actually extremely, extremely useful. We can also, by, by, by our end, uh, network anomaly detection, we can detect when a device is behaving strangely. A server or, or, or an endpoint is actually strange, it's sending tons of emails. So, well, let me scan it because it might be that it got actually compromised by some malware. And we do that dynamically, and we scan that individual uh, service. We we also have a QVN module that you can uh, install in a Rackspace or Amazon uh, external provider, and we scan your DMC from the outside, and that gives you a unique perspective you are not going to get uh, actually from the inside. And in our data database, one thing that we do is that we put a lot of logic to deal with vulnerabilities. Uh, in, in the uh, and in, for example, if you as a user have an endpoint. Uh, that that we detect that is vulnerable when when you go into your uh, uh, intranet, for example, and then the, the next day you go through a VPN. Well, we know that that user, even though it has a different IP address, is actually the very same user. So, uh, a lot of intelligence, a lot of very the same GUIs and same standard nice navigation that Curator has now has a dedicated tab for dealing with vulnerabilities to make your life a whole lot easier.